Hi, my name is Zara and I'm a full boarder. My name is Luke. My name's Cosima, I'm a boarder. Um, I'm Max. My name's B or Beatrice. I'm a day pupil. My name's Sophia, I'm a full boarder. So my name's Louis. I'm studying history, drama and economics and I am from Nigeria. I'm studying RS, psychology and biology. Psychology, geography and RS A levels. Physics, chemistry, biology and maths. Biology, maths, chemistry and Greek. History, Spanish and English literature. Psychology, religious studies and economics. Special. Oh. I think the most special thing about Downside is the way that the year groups are so interlinked. Everywhere you'll look, you'll find a friendship between a sixth former and a first former, or a third former and a fifth former. I know everyone says the people, but it is really the support you get from those people. There's a real sense of friendship and camaraderie amongst the whole school. Not just your friends, but the teachers and the upper staff. There's always someone who is there to support you. Just such a huge community. Like I can always like talk to anyone. I, there's no one that I just haven't spoken to yet. I quite like all the traditions that we have, and then we try to uphold the building. It really looks like Harry Potter. You know, it's gorgeous. Three words I would describe downside as supportive, united, safe, welcoming, it's definitely unique and active, spirited and home. There's no way I can summarise like how important this school is to me in just three. Reaching sixth form has definitely been a big changeover and one that I've absolutely loved and looked forward to. And I would say the sixth form team and my tutor have been so extremely helpful with helping me put together my application, my personal statement, checking what requirements I need for universities, interviews or any exams. There's no separation between student and teacher. I can always go see a teacher and talk to them about a subject or if I need extra help. And it's made the whole process a lot less stressful. I don't think there's a single teacher here I don't get along with. I think that one of the greatest new assets for the sixth form is definitely going to be the sixth form centre. There's just a whole new level of um, independence from the rest of the school. It's just going to be such an amazing space for the sixth form to have on their own, not only for studying but social spaces. It'll definitely unite the sixth form even more. The teachers, my house parents, and my, uh, my friends, my schoolmates, they all inspire me in, in the daily life. Um, my favourite lunchtime food is probably... The Sunday brunch is really good. The Wednesday lunch subs. I love to have the pulled pork one with pickles and cheese and barbecue sauce. And When they try to make the Chinese food, which really make me feel just like, oh, at least I got a food from my motherland. Fish and chip Friday, you can't really go wrong. The Friday morning waffles is something that's like the highlight of my week. That is what I look forward to. I really enjoy like the team sports, so hockey and netball, but hockey in particular. Sport isn't just something that you go to like your game sessions and it's over. It is something that um, you kind of you dedicate time to each week. So to help my hockey, I have a gym session or two each week. I'm the head of the Combined Cadet Force Naval Section, but it's quite fun. I really love being part of the Navy as I think it provides us with certain skills that we wouldn't have normally or that I wouldn't necessarily reach out for in my everyday life. I was able to join the Kokuriku Dance Club for Contemporary Dance. I did 10 tours two years ago and that's just 55 km. That was tough. The choir in our school is actually the one of the most, the oldest choir among the country. If you want to be busy, you can be busy all day. From doing sport, you develop so much more than just athleticism. Um, there's a real sense of community within the sports teams. As I'm a day pupil, I kind of came in with a bit of an expectation that there's going to be some kind of almost boundary between borders and days. And I did kind of have that kind of preconception. 
But I mean, I was totally wrong. And you know, within the first week of being there, you kind of forget who's they and who's border. You're all in one group. There's no separation in houses. So I think it really is that integration that kind of really matters, not just for the day pupils who are included, also for the borders, so it doesn't limit who like you can be around and who you can talk to. My spirituality is something important to me, so I wanted a school that could connect me in that way. And I just really wanted a place where I could feel I could express myself and express that through opportunities that it held. So with Downside being a Catholic school, being a, quite a bigger school and having those opportunities, I, it was, I was really drawn to it. I was looking for a school that not only was looking out for the school itself, but could somehow was bettering the world around it. And that was really important to me. They allowed me to explore my faith, but it was kind of like, I like to think about it as like a stream where you have the opportunity to swim ahead and do your own thing. But if you're someone who's just happy and along for the ride, nothing's in your face, nothing's forced upon you. Basically a decision that Downside allows you to make for yourself because they understand that religion is something that's unique to everybody. Not one person will have the same experience. I believe that if you're someone who isn't particularly religious or doesn't associate strongly with any faith, I don't think you'd have any issue at Downside. Once I leave Downside, I think I'm definitely going to miss the security and the structure that it gives me while still allowing me room to grow and to learn as a person. Probably the biggest thing will be the people. It's not just the people that you're going to see again, like my friends, but also I think in particular the house staff, because they really do like become your second parent and they are, really are that kind of that, um, supportive bubble around you. You can see when you walk through, walk past the corridor, the teacher and the student can actually, they're really lovely. They will ask you, are you all right? Which it's not common in Hong Kong. I think I will miss the conversations, the type of conversations you get to have here because it is such like a multicultural school with so many people from different places and so many different perspectives. The types of people you meet and the perspectives that they bring is so unique and I think that is something I will really miss. Everything, everyone. I don't think there's a single thing I won't miss um, because there's every part of the school has impacted me in a different way. So I'm really not worried about when I leave, but I'm really happy to know I can always come back. Mm -hmm.